making progress. Hello? All right, how's it going, everybody? Uh, just wanted to give you all some tips for yearly planning. So, best way to plan the year. So, I like to do it kind of in two different spots, but you know, at the same time, I like writing it out on paper, and I also like having a Google document open at the same time. For me, I just like um, there's something about physically writing it down, but I do like the accessibility of having it on the computer too. You can do however you want, but I do it that way. And yeah, and basically to plan your year, you kind of need to know what happened last year and where you're already at. So with that being said, what I, what I do is I go to the old Vector Connect and I pull up the numbers. So for instance, for me, last year I sold 216 and change. So, so. yeah, so last year I sold 216, 339. And then what I do from there, uh, kind of so I can, I like to break it down by layer or category, right? So your layers, that's like you know, demos are a layer, service calls are a layer, events are a layer, business niche, realtor, any of the, you know, those are all like separate layers, right? So what you can do, so what everybody can do now is they can go to analytics and then basically just go to, you can do event sales or team sales and then go to the rep part and just type in your own name and then you can pull up your stats for events. If you want a full breakdown of everything for the entire year, it's going to take a day or two, but email OEMDP at cutco.com. That's Olean, DP at cutco.com and request a, can I get a breakdown of all of my orders for 2021? And I'll send you a email with all your orders and it'll have like everything categorized. That's the best way to know like everything, but just for real quick in between when you get that email, this will show you like your events later, right? So I go there, go to analytics, and then change the date to last year. So last year started on December. So December 29th, 2020. And then last year ended December, so December 27, 2020. And then I'll click get data. So if you go in, buy a bent, you can see what you sold it each event specifically. And if you go under team sales and you do your name, same uh, same parameters for the day, you can see it's kind of like more of like packages. So for this instance, we want to go T 
team sales section. This program, so. Sweet. So, for instance, for me, so my bet CPO in twenty twenty one of the two sixteen, <coughs> I sold. 148,679 CPO at events. It does include service calls. That's like all the event CPO. And orders is 418. So start breaking down this number. So from all of that orders, so from all of that orders, it's 148. And from boot sales, which is everything that's sold on the boot box, that's 131, 379 for 384 orders. Then event service calls is so eleven thousand six hundred sixty-eight. Seems a little bit low, so I might have just a couple of tagging them. Or maybe, uh, I did more service events, so it probably explains that. Uh, free look leads forty-seven eighteen. Other I am fourteen. Um, should I say it brings a total of one forty-eight six seventy-nine? which as a percentage of my year, this is really so events, including the service calls, totaled 68.73% of my year. I think it's important to know what layers account for how much of your business, because then you know, okay, this is where this is where most of it's coming from. And then you know whether, if you want that to be most of it, sweet. If you don't want it to be most of it, you know what you need to change as well, so. Subject, please. Oh. Subject, please. Hello. So I'm. Uh, I just started basically just talking and uh, just recording myself. So just keep going uh, and then. You can look at the second Wait, I can't hear you. The last part kind of cut out. You hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. I said, I'm, I'm just, uh, I was basically just recording myself, giving uh -huh. like kind of like a general message. And then once I finish, uh, finish that, we can uh, get more specific. But basically... Okay. Uh, Essentially, I was going over how you break down last year's stats so you can plan for this year. Oh, okay. Um, cool. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So basically, yeah. So for me last year, according to the numbers, events accounted for 68.73% of my year. 
and then another example uh, between like business realtor gifting for me that was like five and a half percent of my year. So it's just really cool to you know you know know these numbers so you can grow them because if you don't know them you can't grow them. So with that being said, then I know for with planning this year, uh, say the goal is to do let's do easy numbers. So well, I'll just do my goal. So my goal this year is to do three fifty. So I know based on averages, let's say, like I said, if, if all my numbers are exactly the same, like percentage wise, if events are you know, about 69%, then That means 241.5 would need to come from events, right? And if I have that number and say average order 400, that means I would need 604 basically orders from events. And that's a very, you know, that's if you want to keep everything the same, right? Now, if you want to change things, say you want, uh, say you want to have, you know, 20% be demos, right? Then you would need 70K to come from demos, and then 70, you know, for, with the goal being 350 and keep the average order the same, that means you'd have to get 175 demo orders. So that's kind of how you do the, you know, the layer math. I'm not gonna go into each one of them, but you should be able to get the point from there. So you wanna take that number, whatever your goal is for the year, and then break it down by what layers that you have or that you will have, right? That you want to give it realistic you know, increments for each of them, right? Uh, and then once you have that number, you take your averages for them and your closing ratios and you put that together, right? So say, say you want to do 100K in service calls, right? So if I want to do a hundred grand in service calls and let's say close on eight out of eight out of 10 of them, right? So that means with a $400 average, so 100K divided by 400 times, One second. I just switched my audio. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. Okay, cool. So yeah, so you want to do a hundred service calls divided by four hundred. That means you would need two hundred and fifty orders. 250 uh, divided by 0.8 means you need to do 312.5 appointments. So you have 312.5, and that's how you get to 100K in service calls based off that. And you want to do that for each layer by layer. And I would, you know, since it's a whole year, I would bake in a little bit of extra, you know, extra, right? I always plan a little bit more. So, you know, 
you fall short, you really felt we were supposed to kind of thing. Um, and it's not like, uh, let's wait the whole year to hit this goal. It should be, let's get to the goal as soon as possible. But, and then from there with events, so we shift pick every, you know, we shift pick for every campaign, basically a campaign, maybe even more in advance. So you have a lot of time to plan out what you want to derive from events and how many events you want to work each campaign each month. So if my goal is to do, let's say 200 grand at events, Excuse me. then I know that that's going to take 500 orders and 500 orders over three campaigns is 166. Let's just call it 167. When you round up 167, four months in a campaign divided by four, call it it's 41.75, let's call it 42. 42 divided by four weeks in the month, 10 and a half. So each week at each event, I need to average, you know, if I'm working an event every week, right? Or four weeks out of the month. So say there's a you know five week month, you don't work a show, but say you work four, you know, just for math, four shows a month. It means I need to average 10.5 orders at each show each week for that month for the for the uh, for the month and then I'll tie into the campaign and yearly goal, right? So when you break it down, it really gets pretty simple. The hard part is just doing it, right? And it's really not that hard. You just got to show up execute um yeah so that's how you break down what you need for events and then say uh on the service call or demo side to break it down you know to the ridiculous so if i want like back to that say i want to do 100k in uh, service calls that 400 dollars average so that 250 which was, uh, it was 312 and a half, right? So 313 appointments. So with 313 appointments, phone call wise, everyone's different, but let's say it takes 10 calls to book one appointment. So that means multiply that number by 10. That means you gotta make 3,130 phone calls. And then you can break that down. So over a year, so 12 months. So take that number divided by 12. Get you 260.83, call it 261. And let's say we're working four weeks a month. So take that number divided by four. It's going to give you 65.25. So that means you're going to need to make 65 calls every week to get that 100K in, you know, uh, service call CPO, right? So if I told you if you made you know, 65 calls a week for the year, you make an extra 50 grand that year, would you do it? Or in yeah, these basic no oh, yeah. oh, you talking to me? Oh, you're so recording. Sorry. It's all good. You, 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 can, uh, you can chime in. It was kind of rhetorical, but yeah. But you get the point. So it's like, these are simple things. You just got to commit to them. And then planning. So personally, 
Like, how do I plan? I use a physical calendar. I like putting pen to paper. I know a lot of people like Google Calendar. I have certain things in there, but I prefer physical calendar. Just to show y'all. I'm, I'm in the car, so that's why I'm not on camera, but this will show you. This is my physical calendar. So what's nice about the calendar that I use is it has a, a monthly, like uh, I can zoom out and see everything for the month. Just to show you. So I can see things for the month. Then for the days, like this. So this is really nice for putting in my appointments. So I can literally, you know, list them out through the times. So then I can put my appointments in there really nice. So I do A's and I just fill in people like that. But that's how I kind of do it on a day-to-day -day basis and a month-to-month. -month. And then ideally, you know, I have my calendar with me at all times. And then when I'm going to appointments, I have like my bags in the back and I have my calendar sitting shotgun in case I forget who, uh, you know, the names of the people I'm going to go see. So I have all that right there. Yeah, you know, just want to fill in, fill in your big stuff when you get it. So you, know, you get your events, you fill it in there. You have like, uh, I don't know, you have like something specific that you do every week, like say you work out at you know, X time, you want to put that in there. Or if you got you know, dance practice or, you know, whatever, whatever it is, you got practice or something, put that in there. So you want to put in all the stuff that uh, you know you're going to have to do no matter what. You know, your big rocks, right? I'm sure uh, a lot of you have seen that where it's like put the big rock, you know, it's like you put the big rocks in there and you put the, the uh, those are the pebbles, then you put the sand, then you put the water, right? So the big rocks are like your uh, your A priority things, and the uh, the B priority things next, and the C or D would be like the sand and the water, and that's like stuff that you could do at any specific time, right? Or stuff that uh, isn't as important, like watching TV or being on your phone or you know, things like that, stuff doesn't matter. So that's kind of the uh, basis there. And yeah, feel free to reach out with any questions you all have. But uh, I'm going to stop the recording there and then uh, just kind of answer questions with the people who are on. And we can uh, go from there. See?